questions now for sophomore wide receiver Steve Ishmael. Please raise your hand and we'll bring a microphone to you. We'll start on the right with Dan in front. Steve, how you doing? I'm good, Mike. I'm doing well. And, you know, looking at that play that you had, you know, Coach said he's going to talk to you about some of the plays that you need to do and get better at. But go into that one touchdown play and then some of the plays that maybe you're thinking about after. Oh, well, um, in the beginning of the game, it just was like a blocking. It was it was blocking first for me. But, you know, um, Coach Hicks, he actually preached it this week. He t I was in the weight room every week. He just said, you know, get big, be physical. So, you know, I just was blocking out there and then. We were, we were running the ball real good off off of our block, so the 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 outside the outside routes end up opening up, and it just worked out pretty good. Mark in the back at your left. Steve back here, all the way back, over this way. There we go. Uh, how much did you guys feel kind of the energy shift in the huddle after that the big touchdown early in that third quarter, and things kind of went all your way after that? Uh, it shifted pretty good. Um, Bridge Bridge kicked off a. Um, a huge touchdown that, that changed the momentum. And you know, when we end up getting back the ball, um, we drove it down a little bit. Now, as soon when, you know, the, the, the momentum shift over when I scored, that, that was when like, it just kicked off. We were just so hyped, and we were just looking forward to, you know, the defense, because the defense played a heck of a game, you know, credit to them. But we were just looking forward to the rest of the game after that. We, we knew that we had it. Nico, all the way in the back on your right, Steve. Steve, I'll ask you the same question that I asked Coach. You know, you guys were down in the third. What does it say about this team that you, you know you showed heart, you showed grit, and can, you won this game going away? What does it say about this team that you're able to rally like that? Oh, it says a lot. You know, um, the Lord's been good to us. Um, putting in all this work in the summer, um, what's real hard, Eric Dungy, uh, Ron Thompson, um, Zaire Franklin, just just watching those captains, Luke, Luke Arsenega, just putting, up, just putting in all the work that they did, just watching it manifest on the field is great. It's great to watch, and I feel like – we're, we're, we're way more positive. Uh, we don't argue as much. Uh, when we're down, we're always, we're always in, um, encouraging each other. That's what Coach Schaefer and Coach Lester Pree. So, you know, and I feel like the coaches the coaches are really setting the tone for this season, and we're looking up to them, and we just love the positive vibes that we have going on. Dan in the front row on your right side. Steve, what can you say about Eric Dungy, how he stepped in and what he's meant to the team through these first two games? And I tell you, ever since the first day that that kid came, I knew that he was something special. Um, just his character off the field. I'm a humble guy, you know, he throws the ball really good. I always told him, I said, just keep your head up, you know, keep on working, even if you're not starting. Just keep on working, you don't know what could happen. And, you know, he came in last game, he, he played pretty good. Uh, he was confident, he wasn't nervous. You know, he came in there yelling. I was sort of scared myself when he started yelling, but you know, he's a he's a great person. I, I love the kid and I'm just looking forward to continue growing with him and playing with him. Time for two more questions, Steven. Hey, Steve. Uh, it's kind of no secret how much the offense has been through in the last couple of years with injuries and, you know, new offensive coordinator. And, uh, you know, after Terrell and Irv were kind of dealing with stuff in the quiet first half, it, you kind of got the sense that, you know, that can kind of like creep into the, the mindset. You know, what, what was that like? And then how did, you know, those two big touchdowns from Eric maybe swing the kind of uh, momentum, but also the, the mindset of the team, you know? Uh, just him as a freshman um, coming in and throwing those two touchdowns is huge because most freshmen, they come in, you know, a little startup. But by Eric, by Eric coming in and having that much confidence really boosted up the team because, you know, um, at Fort Drum this year, the, the the soldier was telling us, you know, he was a he, – he, he practiced like five years, but then he ended up going to a real room, brother, but he said that he practiced for it. And, you know, he was put in a situation that, you know, it's real. And just by him taking it up and standing up to it, people really respected him. And I feel like that's that's the impact that Eric Dungy has on the team. Just by him coming in, being confident, uh, not 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 being negative. He's a real positive guy. So you know, I feel like he's taking the team under control. And, you know, we're, we're looking up to him. He's the quarterback. Last question from Mark in the back on your left. Steve, me again. Uh, it's been brought up already. You guys were two and zero last year, mm -hmm. and uh, obviously after that, things didn't go so well. So how do you kind of keep this going? Uh, just by staying positive, um, not changing, don't change. You know, we, we've been working hard as a team, as a unit, staying positive. Even when things go wrong, just continue staying positive. Um, I love what the team is doing off the field. You know, where we're, we're, we're being more polite to people, you know, um, not, not being cocky. We're being more positive, you know, helping out any people. You know, we see see somebody poor, we want to give them money, stuff like that. You know, I feel like that really contributes to us on the field. And, you know, everybody's just positive. Uh, you know, next week we have Central Michigan. Um, we're looking forward to going 3 0. But, you know, uh, we're just going to let everything come to us, not try to go out there and grab anything. Just be patient. Patience is a virtue. So, you know, we just let everything come to us and just continue being humble and keep on going.